Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate it without talking. I'll do it on the left side. thing to note is that my hand is just kind of in a scooping position on the other side. It's like I'm holding something. And this hand position can be pretty much anything you want. Uh, even a fist, you know, it's okay, whatever you want to use. That's not the real important part of what's going on. Also, my body temperature is going up a lot. This is a very strong uh, energy technique as far as the circulation of chi because the liver and liver meridian govern the smooth flow of chi and so when you excite this meridian or organ then it's going to become more active and that's going to cause the flow of chi to rush through the body and so you'll get a heat rush and the more you do it uh, the more heat you will get and so it's uh, the more heat you get the more chi you have circulating and so it's a really good uh, thing to do first thing in the morning uh, to get the get the blood and chi uh, pumping, so I'm going to have Matt come out now, and uh, we're going to do this. And uh, so all we're going to do is we start. We'll do the uh, we'll do the right uh, this way, and so I'll stand like this from the side, and I'll do the left so you can see it on the camera. But we're just going to turn the right foot out. There we go, and it makes a it makes like a T stance in martial arts. And so from here, then as, a, as that foot turns, you're going to bring this into a bird feet hand position. Okay, so just go, there you go. Uh, we said we're going to have it down, and so it just comes out like this. Okay, and so very good. There we go. Wrist curls, and the stinger pops up, and then it comes back down and points at the toe, and then that's going to come right up the inner thigh. All this area is the liver meridian, so it's going to come right up and then off to the side, right here at number 14. Okay, and then right there he holds for a second and then rolls the wrist out with a large finger on it. Okay, and then the stinger collapses, the wrist turns into a pointing upward position, and then release. And you'll feel like this poof come out of your hand, very hot. And that, that poof is the bad chi leaving the body, and so you get really, really hot after you've completed the poof. So go ahead and try it by yourself and let's see how you do. Very good. And so here comes the stinger and very good comes back and again this is going to take nine breaths to complete this whole thing. We're going a little bit faster so it doesn't take up any more of your day. So he comes up the liver meridian and the liver meridian comes up through the groin and off to the side and now he's going to come out with his roll, beautiful, okay, then collapse, come back down, turn it over, hold it for a second, and poof, and man, then you'll feel the body temperature go, wow, yeah, really hot, right? <clears throat> so, now that's to build the yang, okay, to build yin, you simply do the left side, and uh, that's all there is to it, to do the yin and yang on the meridian. gallbladder organ we're going to use what's called the scorpion mudra and it's just a if you make it like a claw then uh, relax these three fingers okay and then bring these two fingers in almost uh, like pinchers and uh, they just kind of point straight out while the other ones kind of curve and so it's fairly easy to do and uh, and it's called the scorpion mudra and all we're going to do is we're going to take our natural stance. This is one of those that does left and right balance at the same time. And scorpion mudra, okay, and the wrists lift like this, okay, uh, everything else is dead, the wrists lift. I roll the wrists out until I can't roll them out any further, kind of get a little stretch, and then I turn it back into myself, 
and it's going to point right at gallbladder 24, which is the alarm point for the gallbladder organ. And again, alarm points are where the organ feeds from. And so uh, I'm hitting gallbladder 24. And you see, this is, my, this is what my hand position looks like. I'm going to hold this for nine breaths. And then I'm going to move my wrist out and up. I'm going to turn it out and give it a little pump right there at the end just to discharge. And again, you'll probably feel some heat. You know, a lot of these you may feel heat on. Uh, they're very, very strong, even though they, they don't take long. In the Shun Tao Advanced Qigong, which is really what this is, uh, there's not a lot to it. You know, uh, the postures are fairly simple, uh, and if you even if you don't get them quite right, you still get tremendous benefit from them. Uh, it it's like instantaneous heat that you feel. And it's because it brings all three of the martial chakras together. You're using conceptional vessel one, okay, which is between the genitals and the anus, and that's your root chakra, okay, and that draws in when you turn your pelvis up and you bend your knees, that's drawing energy from the earth, okay. You're using your dantian, Okay, your middle, uh, your your like middle chakra in martial arts, where all the energy is stored at, and then in martial, again, you're using the highest chakra, which is the brow chakra, to concentrate on what meridian and where that energy is at along that meridian. And so, by using all three of these together, you get a much stronger form of qigong than just using uh, the root chakra and the middle chakra, bringing the brow chakra into it really just gives it that extra special something. Now there are other chakras that can be used, but these are like the first advanced maneuvers that you're taught for uh, this type of Qigong.